and welcome. Do you ever have those items or objects around the house that you save because you might use them one day, right? Uh, but they just keep getting in the way? Well, here are mine. I have three of these and they're just in the way and they're kind of ugly. So join me today as we upcycle these into something a lot prettier and much more useful than what they are now. Now, let's dive in. Hi, Sea Rockers. Let's start with our first jar. I went ahead and put some tape on there just to give me a line. And I'm going to be using silicone uh, as glue because this might go outside, stained glass, and some beads. Now the process of making these is pretty dang easy, but it is fun to watch things be transformed and repurposed from something ordinary into something unusual or extraordinary. Now using silicone uh, as a glue is uh, not fun in the sense that it is very gooey and when it gets on your fingers, then it seems to get everywhere. So just keep your fingers out of it because once you get it onto the glass, then it's hard to get off. As you can see, I just spread the glue on and then I take my little pieces and kind of jigsaw it together, basically. These are little pieces of stained glass that I have because I have glass uh, in my studio. And uh, I'm using also glass beads mixed in there. And you're basically just gonna repeat this process until you have every part of your jar or whatever it is you're putting this on uh, filled up. Just push your pieces as close together as possible. And just know that whatever paintbrush you're using, you'll just need to throw away. So use something that you're willing to be disposable. And just like that, we have made it to the end of this piece. Just gonna put the last few pieces on. So once everything was dried, I went ahead and added this uh, rope to it. I think it's real nautical looking and uh, I think it really adds something uh, to all three of the pieces because I'll add them to all three actually. And I found it at Dollar Tree of all places and I love it. And if you're enjoying what we're doing so far, I would love it also if you would splash that like button Click the bell and subscribe. And for now, this one is gonna be done until we put the final detail on the front. Okay, let's start on jar number two. For this one, I'm using Aileen's Turbo Tacky Glue because as you can see, my jar already had glue on it of a different kind. Anyway, I wiped that off. That's why it's not shiny. And then I'm going to attach some Mother of Pearl pieces uh, to it. So basically, same idea as the last. Spread your glue on there. I have my tape marking, marking off my line. And these are a little more slippery because of the glue. So you just have to be a little more patient and work in smaller bunches. You're just gonna puzzle piece it together just like the others. And I later decided to add something to the in-between, the space in-between. <laughs> but I will tell you this to save you a lot of headache is don't go over your blue line because then it's really hard to get the tape off at the end. So here we are at the end of our first section and as I always do, I get a wild hair and here I go adding sand 
into the spaces between the shell pieces. And it was kind of a bugger to work with and messy and I had to do it several times, but it's okay because it turns out really pretty in the end. So you're just gonna repeat your process, glue a section of shell on, and then while the glue is still wet, sprinkle your sand in between. And don't worry if you don't get it all because you're gonna have to go back over and do the sand again anyway into those missing spots. And by the magic of editing, we are almost at the end of this piece as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then by this time also, you're an expert at getting this glue where you need it to be. And you're thinking, maybe I had to do another piece just like this. It was so much fun. <laughs> And finally, jar number three. As you can see, I'm using a little different tape. This is that, I think it's called washi tape. I don't know, it's been sitting in my drawer forever. But to that, I'm gonna add these little mirrored kind of glass pieces that I found at one of the hobby stores. I think it was in the floral department. Some pretty beads. And I just mix them together. And then I'll just put them on here with some Aileen's Tacky Glue. make this one just a little bit different I decided to put a second thinner row of my little glass and bead mixture and it turns out so pretty and when you work with these little tiny pieces and beads a lot of times they'll fall off don't worry about it just go back after the fact and fix it So once your glue is dry, you're going to want to go back and fill in those gaps. I decided to use uh, Diamond Glaze, which is one of my favorite products. It's a little on the runny side, but it's made for jewels and things of that nature. So it has really good sticking power. And I poured, not poured, but squeezed it a little bit at a time over some of the loose pieces and then added more in. So while jar number three is drying, I'm gonna go back and fill in the sandy gaps on jar number two. Instead of using glue in this one, I'm using Liquitex Gloss Gel Medium. It will dry nicer looking and it I won't have to worry about scraping it off the shell pieces. I just kind of wipe it with my fingers, you can see here. So I'm just taking a little of the gel medium, enough obviously so that it sticks, and then sprinkling a little sand in the gaps and it filled it in real nicely. Once everything was all dried, it was time to remove the tape. Now, this is where, as you can see, I kind of pause there and think, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get this off? Anyway, this is where you remove the tape and you wish you hadn't gone over the blue line. One of those times where staying within the lines is wanted. Anyway, so I had to use a little, um, razor knife and you can see you can see it from the other side so you do have to get rid of it and i just had to take some pieces off and put them back on but no biggie so here we are all done and ready for the next step but before i did that i decided to remove the tape on the blue one and oh my gosh let me tell you that, that washi tape getting it off oh it's it's a bugger. It just comes off in little pieces. But anyway, so same problem, same issue, same solution. Just take your time and uh, do better than me. <laughs> 
All right, thank goodness that part's over with. So now we can do the easy part, which is adding rope to the other two. Because I liked the rope on that first one so much, I decided, well, these could be used together if you wanted to. So I took my Dollar Tree rope and I decided to add it, add it to the other two. And they're very cohesive looking. It's so, so pretty. And if you've made it this far, you've probably enjoyed today's project or you've had nothing better to do. In either case, why don't you subscribe? It'll help me out and helps me create more content just for you. All three of our jars are ready for their last step. It turned out so nice. And before our pretty repurposed jars can go to their final photo shoot, they need to have their bling. This particular jar is gonna get a bling of a shell glued on. This sparkly jar I didn't want to overpower it with a shell, so I decided to put on a little bead right where that seam is, as well as the others. Put it right on the seam of the rope. And I'm going to use my E6000 glue and secure it right on there. And lastly, our very first jar is gonna get a seashell. Now, because my seams of the rope didn't quite line up, I needed to put something uh, wide enough on there to cover it up. So this one gets a little different seashell. Wow, look how beautiful those look. And you can use these for a variety of items. So like maybe a candle with a tea light, tissue dispenser, napkin holder, or even a vase. How about desk supplies? Your bath, makeup brushes, or just use your imagination. But most of all, I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope possibly you are inspired to try and repurpose something around your house. Maybe even something that you've been tempted to throw out, but like me, you keep around. So I'd like to invite you to see Rocker family, like, share, and subscribe with your salty friends. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms. Thanks for watching. Until next time, go beach or go home. <laughs>